Hey guys, what's up? My name's Crystal with Crystal Thrifts and Flips. And if you're new here, which you probably are because this is only my second YouTube video, what I'm gonna be doing on this channel is furniture flipping. So I'm gonna share with you guys my whole step-by-step -step process of my furniture transformations. Today is gonna be a hutch. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. I'm also gonna be linking my Instagram and my TikTok down below if you wanna give those a follow as well. And let's get started. <music> Here is the dark wood hutch that I'm going to be transforming today. This is actually a custom piece for a client, so the color and everything else is already chosen. The first thing I do, like always, is give the piece a good cleaning. And the inside of this piece was especially dusty, so I made sure to go in and get it very good with my vacuum. I start off with my soft bristled brush and just go over the entire surface. I actually only purchased this vacuum, I would say about two months ago, um, but it literally made a world of a difference. I don't know how I did my flipping without this before. Next, I fill a spray bottle and I fill it with half crud cutter and half water and wipe down the entire piece with this mixture. I'm actually almost out, so I'm gonna have to go buy some soon. And then I use my microfiber rag to wipe that down. And you can see at the bottom of this hutch, there's really detailed spots. So a lot of the times I'll go in with a toothbrush to get into those crevices really good. And I had to show you guys a clip of my favorite part of the shop vac. Honestly, this was like the selling point for me. And here is me again, moving the piece of furniture out to my front porch because this is where I have to work at the moment. We're eventually gonna transform the shed into a workshop. Um, I'm super excited for that. But for now, this is where I work. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing one of my least favorite things to do, and that is to strip a piece of furniture. I'm going to be applying it with this brush right here, and you want to make sure you apply a pretty generous amount. Unfortunately, I was running pretty low on this product as well, so I couldn't put it as thick as I wanted. Now, before this starts to dry out, I'm just going to use cling wrap to make sure it stays nice and moist under there. If you're wondering what that random piece of blue paint is doing on the top, I was actually testing paint colors. Um, I wasn't too worried about it because I knew I would be sanding down the top anyways. So after covering the entire piece in sister strip and cling wrap, I waited about 30 to 35 minutes and tested out a spot. Then I went in with a scraper. Unfortunately, I forgot to film this part, but in the next clip, you'll see the entire piece has been scraped with all of the citrus strip. And I'm going in with mineral spirits to clean it up and then with water, and then I'm gonna start sanding. I'm 
I normally would have probably went in with another round of citrus strip, but unfortunately I ran out and didn't feel like going to the store. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that part and just start sanding. I started out with 120 grit sandpaper. I wanted to keep some of the piece natural wood because I thought it would complement the color that I was painting really well, especially with this lighter wood that's underneath this dark stain. So I thought that would be good featuring the natural wood with the legs because I thought they were super cute and the top of the piece. The next step I did was prime. I went in with my favorite primer and I used a bunch of different brushes and a roller as well. I like to use a roller usually on the flat spots of furniture, usually on the sides or the tops. And I think it leaves a really smooth finish. And then I love my round zebra brush for the more detailed spots on furniture. Remember, you do not want to shake. You always want to stir to prevent bubbles. Next, I'm gonna be painting the piece. I'm using the Chippy Barn again, this time in the color Early Bird. This is what the client chose, and it is such a beautiful color, especially against this light wood. And before we start painting, I always smooth out my primer. I'm gonna be using 320 grit sandpaper. And I sand down especially all of the thicker spots of primer that might have dried funny and leave weird spots when you go in to paint. And after I sand, I spray down a light spray of water and go back in with a microfiber cloth and wipe down the piece again. These are the three paint brushes I chose. You see I'm using my round zebra brush again. It's one of my favorites and will probably be a reoccurring paintbrush in most of my videos. I did about two coats for full coverage on this piece.
Next, I moved on to the knobs. Me and the client both thought they were super cute, so we're gonna keep them, but we're gonna change the color. Clean them with warm water and dish soap, and then I wipe them off with a cloth. And then I took them outside to prime them. And you'll also see a little sneak peek of this $4 table I got at the thrift store that I'm gonna be putting in my room. And for knobs, I usually like to go with a spray primer just because it's easier than trying to brush on the primer. So you're supposed to shake the can really well and I do about two coats of primer on each side of the knob. We chose the color gold for the knobs and I went with this color metallic in Rust-Oleum and I do about three coats of this just to make sure we get a really nice even coverage on each side of the knob and it usually dries to the touch in a few minutes so I recoat it every five minutes and then I wait 30 minutes and flip over the knob to do the other side. And finally, the last step has come, and that is to seal the entire piece. I'm using my favorite sealer. This is the one I always use, and we're probably gonna be doing about three coats of this. And I almost always use a foam brush for my sealers. I just feel like it gives the nicest finish rather than using a brush. And if you're still with me till the end of this video, it's finally time for the reveal. So just a reminder, this was the before and here was the after. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like it and comment and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a nice rest of their day.